Hello and welcome to the DuPont Golf Performance Academy. Today we're going to be talking about putting. I hear so many people that lose so many strokes on, their, on the putting green. If they could take away four or five putts around, they could really lower their handicap. So today we're going to be talking about controlling the distance of the putt. There's distance and direction are the two determinants of making a good putt. Distance is going to be one of the keys. So the three kind of factors, assuming that we hit the ball in the center of the club face or putter face, is grip pressure, how tight or loose we hold on to the ball. The pace or the tempo that we take the putter back and forth, and then the length that we take the putter back and forth. So we're going to talk about those three variables. I'd like to actually make two of them fixed and then just work on varying the length of the putt based on one of the one of the factors. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the putter grip. I'd like to see you get into a good grip pressure that you can control the putter head but also feel the weight. So not too tight, not too light. We've got to get in there and go on our grip scale and kind of feel what is too tight and what, what is too loose. And get kind of in, somewhere in that middle, that four to six range would be perfect. Second thing is the tempo. How fast we take the putter back and forth or how slow we take the putter back and forth. This is going to be relative to each person and understanding their own personal tempo. We want to get a tempo in there that's not too fast and not too slow. Get in there and find our personal tempo for the day so that we can keep constant throughout the round. So if we can keep the grip pressure and the tempo of the putting stroke constant, all we have to do is vary the length of the stroke. So that's what we want to look at. We want to keep true pendulum actually works back and forth about the same distance. So we want to actually keep good grip pressure, constant grip pressure, constant tempo, and then let that putter work back and forth the same distance. I'm actually going to use my toes as an example where I can get consistent distance with my putts by taking my putter back to my toe, through to my toe. Again, watch as my putter goes back and through to my toe. That is going to allow me to really be consistent with my speed of my putts. If I need to hit a longer putt, I just lengthen that stroke. A shorter putt, I actually just shorten that stroke. So this is a great opportunity to work on your putting at this time of year to really try to help improve even going into the winter, winter that you can work on indoors. We have a couple different putting schools coming up this fall. We look forward to seeing you out here at the academy. I hope this help, tip helps you, and we'll see you out here.